<gasps> Spartan, oh my gosh, man. You totally lied to us. You know, you were telling all of us that you would wait and see all the problems with this game before you would get it. Why the hell do you have it so early? You're such a hypocrite. Oh my god. Okay. It's a long story, guys. I'll tell you later. But first off, I need to get this one quick update out there. Um, it has to be in regards to my friends list. First off, it's full. So if you guys are trying to add me on Spartan Warrior 5, you really can't. So that's one issue I want to address right now. With the friends list, apparently with this game, friends list caused all the lag issues. more friends you have, the more lag you have, apparently. So here's the deal. Spartan Warrior 5 is going to be my main account for just YouTube friends, as in YouTube gamer friends, and also people who I personally know. Okay? Then I'm going to make a second account for gaming with the fans, gaming with the viewers. So if you guys have added me on PSN and you're just a fan, you're just a viewer, whatever, sorry, but I'm going to have to delete you off of Spartan Warrior 5, but don't worry. I will add you again on my second account, which I'll self to create later on. I'll leave the name to it in the description box later once I actually make it. So that you guys can just go ahead and add me. And, you know, there will be days or weekends where I can have some open lobbies and we can do some combat training or whatever, you know. Totally just destroy some bots on this game. So uh, that's what's going on there. Wanted to let you guys know ahead of time. So that if you're looking on your friends list and you see I'm deleted off it, you know why. And you know that I will be accepting fans on my second account, which I still have to make. So that's that. And also it'll be a first come first serve kind of a deal. Um, I'm just going to accept everyone that I know on YouTube. You have to say you're from YouTube. Uh, your YouTube fan or YouTube viewer in the message so I know that you're from YouTube not just some random person and I'll accept you and uh, I'll either just put out in a YouTube video when I'll be hosting open lobbies or in a tweet I'll be hosting open lobbies so this way we will be able to uh, connect more with the fans so enough about that why the hell do I have black ops so early um, I'm going to share a little story with you guys now, since this is a pretty long gameplay. Um, so the other day, we had a family friend over for some dinner and, you know, to shoot the shit and whatever. And uh, he's a big time fan of Call of Duty. And he asked us, hey, do you guys have Black Ops yet? Because this is the day that the game released. And I said, well, not really, no, because I'm trying to uh, see all the problems with it, see if it's good, see if it's bad. I'm going to wait a while for it to uh, get all the, you know, problems solved and see what's going on. So I'm going to wait a few uh, months. And he's like, all right, well, that's cool, too. And a couple minutes later, my dad goes, oh, well, you know, guys will be right back. I have to run an errand. So we're like, all right, that's cool. And we pop in model for two, start playing some... Uh, Team Deathmatch and whatnot, and then my dad comes home with the last copy of Black Ops from the local Walmart, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be so tempted to play this, and yes, I was tempted to play it, and this is why I have this gameplay for you guys today. This is going to be my first impressions video, because I don't have my first gameplay recorded, and the first gameplay was really shit, so... This is my thoughts on the game so far. Uh, just generally overview right now. Not a whole lot of pros, but a whole lot of cons, which I foresaw coming up. A couple videos back, you know, the reality of Black Ops, further discussion on Black Ops. I, I called these things out, or at least called some things out. And this game does have some problems. So let's get into this. Let's go into the pros first because, you know, I don't want to seem like Captain Negative. I'm just being realistic here, guys. So first off, theater mode, great thing because without it, I would not have be able to record this video for you guys today. 
If you're wondering, this is a 59 and 27 demolition on Nuketown, if you haven't figured it out yet. But the weird thing is, with theater mode, there's some things it doesn't show, like the placement of airstrikes and helicopters, and what else? Um, it doesn't show your score for some reason. Like, at the end, I tried showing you my final score, but it wouldn't show it, so I'm just laying there dead, you know. So, that's one thing about theater mode that I wish, you know, they could change. And also, guys, I'm still learning the ways of theater mode, so this is my first attempt at making something from theater mode, so just bear with me now. I'll learn the ways of it and, you know, get it down pat. Also, the uh, combat training uh, game mode. That's another good thing, because, you know what, if you're really getting stressed out by this game, you know, you're not having a good time. You just go jump on it with a few friends, go on combat training, you know, go kill a few bots, and, you know, have a good time. Because that's, just like, really sometimes kind of stressful. I mean, when you get killed by a mindless bot, that's kind of, it's like, I don't know, embarrassing, stressful a little bit. Because it's like, oh my, how did he kill me? He kills me in two shots just standing there, which is kind of ridiculous. But other times, uh... If you're in with a group of guys, you're playing something, you can get like a hundred kill games if you set it up right, which is pretty awesome. Other than that, um, other pros with this game, customization. I am loving the customization aspect of this game because you can put down your clan tag, you can put down your emblem, you can have different camos. Camos aren't that expensive and you have so many camos to choose from, it's unbelievable. You know, so it really focuses on making your gun, which is, I find really awesome. But lately, I really haven't been seeing a whole lot of customized guns. They all look the same to me. Like, everyone's using the same camo. Everyone's using the same reticle for their red dot sights. It's like, I really haven't seen that whole creative, customizable aspect of this game yet. No one's really taking the initiative and in making it their gun. You know what I'm saying? It's all the same that I'm seeing. A lot of people using that tiger camo, which, you know, everyone's like, oh my gosh, this tiger camo looks so pristine and makes me look like a badass. But in all aspects now, since it's so common, no one really thinks it's, you know, great, if you get my drift. Um, so that's really all of the pros. Other than that, I would say weapons-wise, they are pretty balanced. The only gun that I would really say is in balance is the one I'm using right now, the AK-74U. I don't know what it's about. It. It's really accurate, high damage. I mean, I stopped using it for a while just because, you know, I've been I was using it for a while to get some gameplays. But, you know, it's just like I want to branch off these different things. So, for now I stopped using this gun. That's what I have to say about pros. If I think of any more, I'll tell you guys later. Cons. Let's go into this. Um, what I brought up earlier, the lag issues. Um, hopefully this is something they'll be patching re uh, soon, hopefully. Because, you know, in Modern Warfare 2, yes, there was lag issues. And in about a week of the release, it got patched up. So, it, that, I'm certain that they're going to fix that. Other issues. The spawn system, as right now I'm showing off, I'm in their spawn and they're spawning right around me. I'm just destroying these people because they have no chance, guys. They're just spawning all around me, and that was a bad mistake on my part. But uh, I mean, it's like literally in demolition on Nuketown. If you cannot get a good score on this, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Now I'm not trying to be all mean and shit, but, you know, it's so easy to spawn trap and demolition on this map. It's, like, unbelievable. God, and when you're playing Team Deathmatch on, let's say, Array or something, and you're having your team and you're, uh, pushing them back, the spawns will completely flip and you'll be killed by the back and... I mean, you, literally, you'll the spawns will be in the same spot. Like, you'll be spawning on one side, and the guys will be spawning right next to you. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's like free-for-all spawns for Modern Warfare 2. It's like, they really gotta fix that, to be honest. That's like, pretty much a game-breaking flaw that's in this game so far. Other cons. Uh, RC cars. Oh my lord. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to me everyone is equipping RC cars as their third perk using Hardline. 
And I see those damn things whizzing around everywhere, you know, they're flipping around walls, blowing people up, blowing me up especially, because it's like, I'll be walking and it was RC car inbound, and like, pfft, like, not two seconds afterwards, it'll be like, just in my face. So, I don't know, it's really frustrating, and they even said, oh, that's not the least of your worries, or it's like, holy shit, dude, I'm, that's the only thing I'm being killed by, oh my lord. Um... Attack dogs. That's like the chopper gun from Modern Warfare 2. It's like, if you get dogs, you're guaranteed like a good 20 kills. Because those things are dominant. Um, what else? Um, maps are pretty good. Uh, Nuketown is the only map that I'm really disappointed in because this is like the rust and the uh, shipment of past Call of Duty games and also the dome of World of War. I mean the maps they're really unique. Another map that I'm kind of iffy on is launch because when the missile launches out I mean the whole screen shakes you're trying to aim at someone you can't really aim good because you know the shakiness of the launch. So that's one thing I would see you know going away I guess because it's another thing that's like you don't really need that detail in it and it's a detail that's screwing players up. So, I would like to see that changed, hopefully, maybe. Maybe have, like, the shakiness, like, toned down a bit. Because it doesn't seem to be that dramatic. Um, what else about this? <sighs> Christ, campers. Team Deathmatch is full of campers. Um, that's something I'm really disappointed about. Because this game really... If you look at it, it caters to campers. Because you have... Scavenger, Warlord, and let's say uh, Tactical Mask, or Flat Jacket, Warlord, Tactical Mask. You can't kill them with explosives, you can't gas them out. It's unbelievable. And plus they have things like the camera spike. They have things like the motion sensor, where they can tell when people are coming. It's just downright ridiculous. Um, I'm probably going to make another video talking more about this game because I'm running out of time here. Um, let me hear your thoughts on this game so far, guys, because, well, to be honest with you, I am getting pretty stressed out with this game. I'm not having that great a time on the online. Campaign and zombies are epic. I don't care what anyone else says. Those things are awesome. But online, I'm still shaky with Bare Bones, uh, what was it? Bare Bones Pure? That's a game type that I could really get into, but the only thing is, I see the same guns being used every time. Like, I'll be running in there with an AUG, and I'll be seeing people with commandos, with AK-74Us, with FAMASs. It's like, no one can be original and use a different gun. It's all the same shit, just a different day. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I think I have another 60 and 30 demolition on the same map with the same gun. Uh, in store because you know what with this game it's really difficult for me to get a good score on something else with a different gun um, so in future videos would you want to see more black ops gameplay and also what kind of scores do you want to see because I think the best score that I can pull off consistently is like a 17 and 10 team deathmatch or something it's like I can't pull off great scores anymore people so let me know what you think uh, comment down below and also guys remember what I said at the beginning about the uh, second account make sure you check with this video to see if I posted my second account name so other than that guys I will see you later and uh, take care